Ob das jetzt hier von Vorteil oder von Nachteil ist, dass sie mit dabei ist, wird sich letzten Endes zeigen. Hoffen wir mal, es ist zum Positiven. Kann beides der Fall sein. Aber gut, wir werden es sehen. Jetzt in der finalen Episode von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. February 25th, 2.21 p.m. District Court, Courtroom Number 9. <lacht> Let's get this ball rolling. Will the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, please take the stand? Logo. Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But, Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done the past these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course, the truth. Die wir nicht bekommen werden. No matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Deswegen sage ich, das kann von, von Vorteil oder von Nachteil sein, dass sie da ist. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Chief Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Allerdings, make this count. I've worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Yeah, ja, natürlich, ist klar. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. Warum hält sie sich immer noch hin für ihn? My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. I had, it had nothing to do with Emma. Ja, sicher. Sicher doch. Sicher doch. Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course, I'm sure. But Lana. Was breakfast. If this is true, then that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. I gotta do show here. So. I worked alongside Gant for years. There is no truth to this blackmail theory, wobei wir sie dann natürlich pressen können, direkt darauf. But think about it, Miss Guy. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Was soll das heißen? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And... I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Ich möchte das Zeitfenster wissen. Nach wie vor. Did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what she did was justifiable self-defense. She wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. She was traumatized that day all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. Nach wie vor, ich will das Zeitfenster wissen davon. You say you did this all by yourself. Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award was knife was stuck in the victim's body. Genau, das hat man ja. What? But Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. White, but I'll never change this statement. You mean Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the to the other murder weapon? Drake was carry Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. That was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with even more lies. All just to protect me. So when you found a scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's knife. Yeah, okay, this is 
uh, was to get Dark convicted, broke the tip off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, and moved the body. Aber wenn wir sie darauf, glaube ich, nochmal pressen können. Ja, genau. You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the victim's wound and then you moved the body. But why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of others. Wir haben zwei Auswahlmöglichkeiten. Beide müssen wir übrigens durchgehen. Aber einmal wollte ich natürlich wissen, um, why did you plant the knife? Oder why did, why did you move the body? Und das allererste, was ich in dem Fall letzten Endes wissen wollte, war natürlich, why did you plant the knife? Come on now, Mr. Wright. Even you should be able to figure it out. Very well, let's add this to the witness's testimony. The reason Miss Guy fabricated. I knew the tip of the weapon would be buried in his body would be all the proof we needed. Aber wenn sie da natürlich pressen können, darauf, auf das Statement. According to your testimony, Prosecutor Marshall's broken knife was the murder weapon, right? Yes, and leaving it at that might point the blame away from Dark. I felt the most eff effective way to get him convicted would be having the tip of his knife found inside the victim's body. Macht Sinn. So you buried it inside the victim's stab wound. Yes. Because I hated Dark for what he did. Und dann haben wir natürlich die zweite Möglichkeit. When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was wherever you deduced it was by the chief, by Chief Gunn's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail, the reason this guy moved the body. The pieces of the jar that shuddered during the events threatened my plan. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted, wissen wir ja. Also pressen wir sie natürlich darauf. Pieces of the jar, you mean... Yes. That wretched jar you showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime, I felt it would be more ex expedient to move the body. So when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you look at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Was nicht sein kann, denn der Name wurde ja angeblich von Mr. Marshall oder von jemand anderem eben auf, dieses, auf diese Vase draufgeschrieben. Das heißt, zuerst wurde das draufgeschrieben und dann ging das Ding logischerweise zum Bruch. Das ist die einzige Erklärung, die es dafür gibt. Neil Marshall was dead and Dark was laying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. I see. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed, but I have a feeling there is more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I com committed to this fabrication completely alone, yes, klar. So, genau hier können wir natürlich in dem Fall die Vase zeigen. Die angesprochene. Miss Gaia, I understand how you feel. Mehr oder weniger. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was murdered. If that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been in vain. Even so, I am compelled to bring to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. Contradiction in my testimony. You testified in a quote, the pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? It's a simple oversight, really. You see, a, a massage was written on this jar with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written in it in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order to, for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it must not yet have been broken before he died. Yep. He couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. Zumindest nicht so, wie es geschrieben wurde, ja. Your Honor, I, it would appear more information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. Something critical. Chief Prosecutor, it seems you are as in the dark as we are about the truth towards which we are headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Very well, the witness may now continue your testimony. Let's go. Jar and message in blood. 
I immediately noticed the plot traces on the jar, but, I, but it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. Wo wir natürlich wieder die Jar präsentieren können. Miss Kaya, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of this jar in Chief Gun's safe. In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it, she really didn't know. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was a... Still blood on it. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. Yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you did. Didn't like that shit, huh? But couldn't the defendant have, have simply missed a piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. That may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. <laughs> Can you believe that? Allerdings, yeah. Have you forgotten, your honor? When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gunn at the time he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the jar? The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide the fact for two years? That fact. Im. Well, your honor, can you answer us that? Huh? Nah, natürlich nicht. Natürlich nicht, war ja klar. Wait, I'm not the one on the tr on trial here. Yet Sean. Demon Gant arrived at the cream crime scene prior to the witness. Cream. He proceeded to break the jar and purposefully hit one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? Fabrication of evidence. Dream Team. But why would Chief Gant do that? In light of what happened afterwards. Isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gan's aid. Lending her his aid, Gan helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark, sparing Emma. And therein lies the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the chief's puppet. Yep, I did it on my own. Weshalb hält sie sich immer noch hin? I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up their most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul lies. Imagine that coming from my own client. Im. I guess you do seem the type who likes to twist the truth. The fuck? Wait a minute. What if... Wann hat das jemals überhaupt gemacht? Vielleicht einmal beim Steel Samurai Case, aber das... Als wir, als wir die, als wir Oldberg da, da hatten, aber das war legitim, logischerweise. We're still smack dab in the middle of Gun's trap. If, is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana, maybe right after all. What do you mean, right? So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright? Miss Guy, please testify once more. But if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Guy, if you will. I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will if you tell the truth. Im. Very well. I'll testify. About what, what, what I really saw. Put outside. Alright, the witness may now testify once more for the final time. Spill the beans now, girl. Actual crime scene. Do it. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor's sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what happened, I thought she did it. 
That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gunt help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Genau. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on the armor's sword. You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. They now must have known. See, Mr. Wright, she really does have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Das Einzige, was wir bekommen haben von ihr, war hier Evidence Law, was wir uns jetzt auch genauer anschauen können. Und wenn wir das logischerweise hier Resident Evil mäßig einmal drehen, dann nehmen wir noch ein bisschen mehr, können wir auch einen Blick hier reinwerfen und bekommen tatsächlich hier das Foto, das sie an diesem Tag geschossen hat. There's a picture here. Yep. Oh my. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. Because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I had rearranged everything. Lana's picture inserted into the court word. record. Mr. Wright. That piece cut from his vest, could that be? The cloth we found inside Chief Gunn's safe. Schau euch die Weste genauer an, übrigens. Kleiner Tipp. What's this? This is a handprint, isn't it? Und wir wissen, das ist von Emma. That cloth. It had fingerprints on it. Whose ever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. What? But those fingerprints. They are yours, Emma. What are you, why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get on with this cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Und sie denkt natürlich dank uh, fucking Demon noch, dass es ihre Schwester war. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on... Natürlich! Come now, RG. This is the poorest excuse of a trial I've ever seen. Chief Gant. What, now you want to make me out as the bad guy too? Natürlich, weil du so bist. If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined to testify. That means you forfeited your right to make statements to any of any sort. Nice. Nice. This must be that risk we were talking about earlier. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. Say good. Say good, Edgy. Say good. Ah, so what? You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can testify, I can still present evidence. Ah, that's true. Wait. You mean, you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't, but someone does. Someone. So, what's your excuse, Rido? Why have you been keeping quiet about it? Do you have something to show? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Is this true, Mr. Wright? If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma is sure to be made out as the murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence presented now and if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the board of inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall. Ich habe es jetzt hier gezeigt, was falsch ist. Denn, wenn wir nochmal im Buch nachschauen, wir können uns entscheiden, das sollten wir auch, dass wir es nicht zeigen. Denn, wenn wir es zeigen, wir dürfen nur Evidence zeigen, das vorher schon von der Polizei äh, angeschaut wurde. Was ja nicht der Fall ist, weil es seit dem Fall hat... Gant das Ding versteckt. Deswegen dürfen wir es nicht zeigen, weil es vorher eben nicht durch die Polizeikontrolle durchgegangen ist. Deswegen wäre hier die richtige Entscheidung eben, 
cannot show evidence, was wir dann auch machen werden. Wenn wir show evidence allerdings machen, bekommen wir einen Game Over. Und äh, das sieht dann, werden wir auch gleich sehen, folgendermaßen aus. Yes, Your Honor, I do have further evidence. Alright, the time's finally come to show it to them. Those prints have got to be the chiefs. Na dann, let's see this conclusive evidence, wenn du nur wüsstest. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Was für ein Piece of Cloth wäre. It's a piece of leather cloth. Yes, it's mo it most likely was cut from the victim's vest near his chest. What's this? There's a big handprint on it. Surely it must have been left on the cloth by whoever shoved the victim into the sword. But whose fingerprints are on this? I'm sure Rido has checked, haven't you? Well, whose are they? They're Miss Guys. Miss Emma Guys. What? They're mine. So I really did do it. See, I told you it was conclusive. But this was found in your safe. That means it's possible you forged it. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, yeah, logisch. Da haben wir keinen Beweis für. I don't remember any cloth in my safe. Do you really expect me to believe that? But... Give it up, Mr. Wright. It's over. You shouldn't have presented that. By presenting that evidence, you tied Emma's guide to Neil Marshall's death. It appears we have our killer. Yeah. Leider ein kleiner Fehler, den ich hier begangen habe. Hätte ich mir vorher nochmal das Regelbuch bu bu Buch durchgelesen. Everything hinged on that picture in the end. Yep. Leider einen kleinen Fehler gemacht, hätte ich mir vorher das Buch gelesen, hätten wir genau das gewusst, aber das sehen wir natürlich gleich. Der, die komplette Conclusion kommt wahrscheinlich in der nächsten Episode, je nachdem.